Hey everybody, Connor McDonald here. I was at a client site the other day and I had a USB stick with my various scripts and tools on it to help them with the problems they were having. And on the stick was SQL Developer, which I fired up. And they went, oh, using a GUI. You know, we thought you'd be sort of old school and use command line. And I thought about it, talk about what tools I use to best work with the Oracle database. It's so easy to get into a war about this in that I'm a command line person, you know, real people use command line and stuff like that. I think that's absolute nonsense. I think the best way is to find the tools that work best for you for the particular mode you're working in. My go-to tool, probably SQL Plus. That's not because I think it's the best tool. It suits the most common thing I do during the day. When I'm answering Ask Tom questions, the most common thing I need to do is snap out a script nice and fast. SQL Plus starts in an instant. I'm in there, I'm in the database. I'm doing a simple script. I probably don't need a lot of editing and I'm done. It's perfect for that. The other reason I like to stay familiar with SQL Plus is that it's the one tool that is guaranteed to be on every single client database. That may change in the future, but at the moment I know that whatever client site I visit, SQL Plus will always be there. That doesn't mean it's the only tool I'm ever going to use. I have other tools almost always open on my desktop waiting for use. If I need to get some information about a table that I'm going to paste, for example, into an Ask Tom answer, SQL CL. I've got the info command, the DDL command. They can just snap them out really, really fast. I don't have to worry about the complexities that might come with SQL Plus in trying to gather that information. And if I'm doing something that probably resembles closer to more concrete development, for example, adding enhancements to the Ask Tom page, then I'll use something more concrete like SQL Developer. I have access to the schema browser. I can have a history of package commands and SQL commands. And if I want to check my data model, it's just a quick, simple couple of clicks to get into data modeler and see the structure of my larger database. So it's not about which tool, it's about getting the best usage out of all the tools and making them work for your best advantage. So don't get stuck into a war and a debate about it. Pick the tools and the functions they offer that best suit you. And whatever you do, get the best out of working with the Oracle database. See you all soon.